welcome to another video from the Tiny Menagerie. Today we're going to be taking a look at this little filter. So this is the Aqua L Pat Mini filter, which advertises itself as being ideal for nano tanks. That's any tank with a volume of less than 54 litres. It also works in any tank up to 120 litres, and it's perfectly safe for shrimps and other small fish. So first of all, how does it work? Well, it has a tiny internal motor with an impeller inside this compartment. This draws water in through the base, which you can then fit a sponge over for filtration and for preventing your fish or shrimps from getting sucked up into the filter. The water is then forced out through the outlet, and you can either just let it blast, or you can fit a Venturi air take to create bubbles, which aids with aeration and it can give a nice effect. And you can direct the flow further by using the deflector, for example, if you wanted to push it up against the glass, rather than having it swirl around and creating a whirlpool in your little tank. You can also adjust the flow of the water using the regulator, which is just above the outlet. And the whole unit attaches easily to the side of your tank using either the hook or the suction pads, which I personally found perfectly adequate for keeping the filter in place. So we'll take a look at the build quality, and straight out of the box, the Pat Mini feels like a sturdy little filter. All its parts fit very snugly without being too much of a pain to attach, although I did find the stand a little bit fiddly and I had to push it onto the filter quite hard, hard enough in fact that I worried I might break it. It didn't though, and now that it's in place, it doesn't feel like it's going to come away anytime soon. The sponge itself is perhaps a slight disappointment. It is rather small, and it would be inadequate for anything smaller than the smallest of nano tanks, really. Mine's 19 litres, so it'll be fine for in there, but any larger than 30 litres, and you would definitely need to get a bigger sponge quite quickly. And the sponge itself has quite large holes, and while it certainly wouldn't be any risk to adult shrimp or adult small fish, newborn shrimp or fish, even sort of quite old fish fry really, would definitely be able to get in there and they'd risk getting sucked into the impeller. On the plus side though, the sponge is easily replaced if you're looking to breed your shrimp or fish, and Aquel's own turbo sponge will certainly do the job, although don't discount the cheaper alternatives on Amazon for example. You can pick up some really good sponges out there for just a few quid. Overall though, this is a very good filter for the price in terms of its build quality. It really does feel like it's made to last, and the two years warranty is reassuring too. The instructions the Pat Mini comes with are pretty awful, to be honest, and this image is just about all you get, apart from the usual warning not to stick the plug in your eye if the wire is damaged, or at least that's how I read it. You do get a list of everything that's included, but no information on how to attach them to the filter, which, if you're brand new to the hobby, will probably be quite confusing. For example, you don't actually need to use both the hook and the suction pads if you don't want to, and this sort of explanation might not seem like much, but it might be helpful for somebody who's a complete newbie. Once assembled though, the filter is very easy to use. It attaches firmly, and cleaning it is as simple as slipping the sponge off, giving it a rinse to clear any debris, and then slipping it back on again. You can adjust the flow to match the size of your tank using the regulator, which is just here above the outlet. And here it is with the filter on full blast, operating at around 400 litres per hour. And here it is on the minimum setting. And I was actually really pleasantly surprised that on the lowest setting, the filter doesn't feel like it's too strong for my tiny little tank. I can happily live with this, and I believe the shrimps would do as well. You will notice that on the lowest setting it stopped drawing the bubbles, and I found that to be pretty consistent. It doesn't get quite enough flow for the Venturi to work on the lowest setting, and so you need to increase it just a little bit if you want the bubbles to come out. This is a little bit annoying, but it's an easy workaround just by pointing the flow towards the surface of the water to ensure you get a good level of movement and an increased amount of aeration. If for whatever reason that's not quite enough for your tank, then Aqua L do have a sprinkler accessory kit. It sadly doesn't come as standard with the filter, but it works on the lowest setting and will dramatically increase your aeration. But whether or not you need it depends entirely on your setup. Just to point out as well, the regulator for the flow isn't actually completely smooth to operate. It will take some patience to set it up. It's not continuous neither. I'd say you've got more a choice between 100%, 80%, 40% or the minimum. But it's still a hugely useful feature to have in a filter, so I'm really not complaining. Price-wise, I have seen the Minipad advertised anywhere between £15 and £20, usually depending on whether or not postage has been included as well. 
And at that price point, it really, really is a good filter, especially if you're looking to breed either fish or shrimps in smaller tanks. It's also very versatile to work with. Most of its attachments are universal ones. So if you want to set up a double sponge system, for example, then you can. And if you wanted to use it to create a water feature, then you could. It really is a very versatile for such a small piece of kit. Overall, this is a great little filter, and I would say fairly ideal if you're looking to get started in the hobby with something that you could adapt further down the line if you really wanted to. The only part of it that's maybe not quite up to scratch is the actual sponge itself, but luckily replacing them isn't too costly and it will be well worth it just to make sure more of your shrimp and fish fry stay out of the impella. The Pat Mini filter is advertised as being suitable for tanks up to 120 litres, and in all honesty I fully believe that it could easily cope with a 120 litre tank. I probably wouldn't keep it in a tank less than 19 litres, even on the lowest setting it would likely be too strong. But anything above that it would be perfect for. And so this is a filter that I would be really happy to buy again, and to be honest I probably will do when I inevitably decide to get yet another tank for yet more shrimp. I mean, you just can't get enough of these guys, there's so many different colours. Anywho, I hope you've enjoyed this review and I hope it's been useful to you, and if you did enjoy the video then a like would be much appreciated. Happy fish keeping everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!